Morning Margie, what are we working on today? My name is Adam Whaling, I'm the Dean of the Agriculture, Energy, Construction and Transportation Programs here at Chippewa Valley Technical College. How's it going today? Now does that Bluetooth talk to the car or do you got to plug it in? Never a dull moment in class here, is there? Oh, yeah. Every day I try to go through the shops, no matter be here in the Transportation Center, over in the Energy Center and walk through and just make sure that the instructors know I'm around and here invisible. How's it going today? Students, they can also see who their biggest advocate is in the college. Are you pretty far along in the class? You know what you're doing? Are you still trying to figure it out here? I'm doing pretty good. For me and my job, we're always looking at things with a lens of safety. How do we improve safety? Safety is always on my mind. I always approach things with a plan in place just in case. I got my hard hat, I got my gloves, long sleeve shirt, I got my vest on, chainsaw chaps, the heavy boots. That day I actually had a pair of Carhartt work pants on that had a side pocket for holding your phone. It's accessible and for me that day it was, it was a lifesaver that it was inside of my, my phone was in the side of my pants. As soon as I saw it go, that's when I felt the tree hit my hard hat and my left hand side of my body. And just like that in an instant I was on the ground. You know, I had a log laying across my chest and I just, you know, in an awkward position knew I was dialing 911, put it on speakerphone and I set the phone right on the tree that was right above my chest, right next to my face. And I talked through with the 911 dispatcher. Well, I was doing some honeydew lists around the house and a uh, call come on over the pager. Um, individual needed assistance from a, a tree fall. I jumped in the car and Code one, light sirens, race to the scene. I got there shortly after the deputy. When Deputy Schlewitz uh, showed up, he immediately sprinted up the hill. Grabbed his chainsaw and just out of instinct immediately asked him like, hey, does your chainsaw work? He said, does your saw work? And before I even heard him say anything, I reached down and started it up. And he told me, he said, I didn't even hear the answer, Adam. He said, I just, instinct kicked in and I just went, went ahead and started cutting. He fired up the saw and it was, it was roaring in an instant found the safest spot that I could that was within a distance from him so I know I wouldn't harm him with the chainsaw and started cutting through. I got out of the car and started up the hill and he seen me and hollered, hurry, need help up here. I need some help up here. I didn't see anybody and until I got real close and, and seen Adam's feet and then his head sticking out of the other side, you know, that's really when it hit me that, you know, this is serious. Boy, yep. 537 Connie, we got him out. I don't know if I could lift that log today, but a little bit of adrenaline and we got it up and it just amazed me he was okay. They were giving me the once over and they were talking about how lucky I was to not you know, be crushed or broken bones or be bleeding and I was joking around and I was like, geez, you know, where did you guys get your training? And they all smiled and they all said CVTC. Larry Wirtz, two paramedics that were there, me, um, a couple of the nurses at the hospital, um, we're all graduates of CVTC. That aspect is, is, is really neat. I am actually helping the people in my community. It feels good. I can look back and say, I'm literally still applying everything that I learned in school to the job I'm doing today. When I look back and reflect on everything that happens in my day from the time I wake up until the time I go to bed, so the food that I ate, the lights that I turned on, the water, uh, the house that I live in, the vehicles, the medical help or dental help that I receive, the products and services that were trucked and you know all of those things like it's all touched by the graduates that we're producing and for me that lens of appreciation has continued to grow. 